Hey guys, what's going on today? Sevenator here today, and today we're going to be looking at another Minecraft clone. So this is episode 2 of my Minecraft clone series, where we review all these different Minecraft clones and kind of see how they differ and compare to Minecraft. So, for this Minecraft clone review, we actually have a clone called Mind Test. The last episode, episode 1, was Survival Craft. This episode is mind test so both of these clones i've actually played before and i've actually featured them on my channel before and i'm kind of starting off doing those kind of going back and doing a kind of a somewhat of a proper review to give you guys an kind of an overview of the game and kind of see how it compares to minecraft so this one is mind test as i said before and it's actually quite similar to minecraft especially with how the game's set up and like all the menus and everything in that. Survival Craft is a little bit different in the way, um, some of the textures and things like that and the aspect, but this game is a bit more like Minecraft and a bit different. Mostly in the sense that it has servers and the menus. But let's go ahead and get into it and waste no time. And if you do hear a lot of sounds in the background, it is very windy today, and you might hear a plane, blah, blah, blah. Don't have to explain. If you just do, disregard. So let's go ahead and get to it. So to create a new world, we're going to go ahead and get new and type the name test, just for a test. And then we're, not, we're just going to leave the seed blank and leave all this blank because it really doesn't matter for now. But you can do a lot of configuring options, similar to Minecraft. Um, you have to enable this and allow this to do it. Um, uh, um, I'm going to blur out my um, email just so that that's fine. So let's go ahead and get into this. Oh, come on. There we go. So for this, um, uh, let's see, world, as you can see, it's pretty, um, pretty similar to Minecraft, as you can see. Um, I don't have fly enabled right now. Um, it is a little bit laggy. I need to turn on my performance thing for my computer. Okay, there we go. Now it's less laggy. A little bit, at least. But that's pretty much that. Um, I have to go into the settings and enable flying, but it's not on default, so I'll have to enable that. But it's pretty, pretty similar to Minecraft, honestly, especially with the different textures and kind of aspect. There is no animals. <coughs> <coughs> excuse me there. If I don't cut that out, excuse me. Um, I am a little bit sniffly today, so I'm sorry if you're bothered by that. But let's go ahead and get into this. Um, but... There is um, one one cool aspect is there is jungle trees which Minecraft does have and it's kind of cool. But another different really cool feature about this game, Mind Test, is that there is guns and a lot more options and tools, even though there is no animals and things of that sort. So we can go into the inventory. Oh, this isn't creative. I didn't create a creative world. Okay, let's go back to the menu. So we can go ahead and configure this. There's all these different mods that you can do. Um, it's pretty much the sky's the limit here. Creative mode, we can go ahead and do that. And show, kind of show you some of the different things that you can do in mind test. So, as you can see, there's a lot of different things. There is a block for bones if you die. There's a boat. Let's go ahead and try the boat out since we do have water here so let's see there is a sprint but I but it's very tricky and it's not enabled by default but there is a boat that you can get on that's pretty cool I would say but that's that and 
there is a few more things. There's a lot of items and things like that. There's rails and all kinds of things. Very similar to Minecraft, honestly. But one cool thing is TNT. You don't have to light it with flint and steel, which is pretty cool. I don't think... Yeah, you don't have to. I don't... Actually... You may... Uh, wait, wait, wait a second. There's gunpowder. What is this? Pile of glass fragments. You may actually have to light it with flint and steel. Or whatever it is. Yeah, you have to. That That is true. The TNT, though, is very different from Minecraft. It's not what you think it is. It's very... Not as powerful. Okay, whatever. I can't find it. I think I deleted it accidentally. So that's that. Exit menu. There is also a lot of different servers you can go on for this uh, game. One of my f favorite ones is Capture the Flag. 7-8-er-YT. And then put 7 ator There we go. And there we go. Um, this one's a pretty good server, I'd say. Um, it's pretty fun. I would have definitely have to say. Um, they just did a new update so that the doors are colored, and then you can like craft a few different things. Oh, they actually have a decent base, honestly. Won't lie about that. Oh my, wow, they are really, they're, but I have to say there are a horrible, horrible amount of noobs on these servers. Like, I can't tell you how many noobs there is. Like, they, if on their team, they will literally team without, that's a pro right there. Um, but they're, they will literally team on you when you're on your own team and try to kill you. I had one, one time, he tried to kill me in lava, like the whole time. I, it, it was it was really terrible. There, that's one of the things about the server. Um, and I'm died. That's another pro, by the way. But, um, that's basically that. And it is really sad that they're trying to use ladders to climb up. But that's basically that server. Overall, the servers are pretty decent, but not the best. But there is um, a few differences from the Minecraft. Um, there's not really a good way to... There's no skins, really, for most of the servers, which is a disappointing fact. But overall, for a game that actually is free and open source, pretty good, I'd have to say. It's probably one of the best that I've seen for a Minecraft clone, mind test in general, other than the survival craft. Best, survival craft is really good, com comparable to Minecraft, except that it has no LAN and online type multiplayer. It has multiple players on the same computer with same screen, different screens, but it doesn't really have true multiplayer. And that's the key difference from Minecraft. This, on the other hand, has servers and things like that, but it doesn't have all the features, and it's still an alpha, actually. As you can see, um, you probably can't see because the way I have the setup, um, it's actually in 0.4.17. And they're working on trying to get it out of alpha, but right now it's still in alpha, so that is one of the downsides to it. But overall, the game is actually a really good Minecraft clone, and pretty much that's into this video. Um, not a great review, but pretty much an overview of the game. So I will see you guys later in the next video. Definitely like, comment, subscribe. Give me feedback in, on my videos in the comment section. Um, definitely slap that bell and receive notifications because with the amount of views that I'm getting on these videos, I have a feeling that... Probably 90% of the subscribers that I have 
don't have the notifications enabled and don't get the videos until after they come out like hours so I've been trying to do some premieres so I can interact with you in the chat even though it's an upload and I've had like no one show up during the premiere like zero and I've done two of them so definitely enable notifications and things like that it, it really does help a lot but thanks for watching guys um, I will see you in the next video probably tomorrow and basically that's about it I'll see you guys later bye